Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I hope you're all doing well. I decided to uh, record again in this spot just because it was kind of comfortable and um, I can spread my things out and I don't have to take up my dining room table. Just for something different. Um, I got a pretty good sized Dollar Tree haul here. Uh, some of this stuff has been around a while. I kind of found this um, haul um, buried under my other hauls. So some of this stuff might be a little outdated to you. Some of it may just be getting to your stores. I don't really know, but I'm going to show you what I picked up and I uh, hope you enjoy it. I also have um, a friend mail that I want to open um, after my video. So if you want to stick around for that, um, I have... Um, some friend mail that I wanted to open. I got it quite a while ago and that also somehow got buried underneath some of the newer friend mail that I got. And I'm really want to apologize to, uh, to uh, Jamie. I know that you sent me that quite some time ago and uh, I feel really bad that I haven't opened it, but uh, I'm going to get into that after this video. Um, and I also have a few, um, pieces of mail that I got um, that I wanted to show you guys and I'm going to read off the names of the people who have been added to the giveaway and uh, I got to get another giveaway together soon. I want to uh, give away, I don't know, some more of the cutting mats if you guys are still interested in that. Um, you know, if you win one and you already have one, if you just want to contact me and say, you know, thank you, but I pass that on to somebody else. I think that would be great um, because there are a lot of people that still haven't found them. Um, I just um, want to say I'm doing the best I can to try and um, get them out to you guys. I would love it if I could just buy a bunch of them and mail them to everybody, but uh, postage being what it is, it just that's just not in the cards. Um, but I, I hope you all can get a hold of what you know, you're looking for, especially those cutting mats, which seem to be elusive to so many people. All right, um, let's get started. All right, I'm going to start with uh, stationery. Um, I picked up these poster boards. I got these for Caroline to draw on. They're by Jot, and you get three of them. Um, I'm just going to open this first one. I'm not going to open all of them, but I just want to show you what they are. They're like pieces of paper with a border, which I thought would be really cute if she drew me a picture and you know, it has the border on it and I could frame it if I want or hang it up. But this is what it looks like. This is what the border looks like. Very cute. I like it a lot. And these are 11 by 14. So they're very good size. And uh, you could even use these um, as little kids' placemats. Um, you know, you could put their plate on it and give them some crayons. And as they're waiting for dinner or whatever, they could draw on it and then put the dinner on it. I thought that would be a cool idea as well. Um, so I got that one. Let me put that one aside for now. Um, I also got this one, this design. Sorry about the brightness in the window back there. It's daytime. Got that one. And I got this one. They had a whole bunch of designs. Um, but these were the three that I picked up. And I just thought they, you know, I thought they'd be fun for the kids. So, you know, Caroline or Madeline, whoever, when the kids are here and they want to draw and paint and whatever. I got paper for them. Um, next thing I picked up was, uh, the, by Jot, I picked up these poster stickers. They're alphabet and they're, um, purple with, are they dots? They're kind of like splotches. They're not quite polka dots, but I thought I would get these helping Caroline with her ABCs and you get nine sheets, 91 total decorative letters and numbers. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look real quick, real quick. I know you guys like for me to open stuff. So, so this is what they look like. Very cute. Those are the letters. 
And then the mid, you know, see how the B is? The middle part pops out. And there's the numbers. But you get nine sheets all together. So you could use these for posters or, you know, learning or whatever. But I thought they were cute. I like purple. So I picked those up for some kind of little project with the kids or for learning or something. Let me try to just slip these back in the paper. I hate to kill time doing that, so I'm not going to do it because you know how this thing gets sticky on the bottom and you're trying to slide it in. It gets stuck on the paper. You know it. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I also picked up some stickers. I thought these were so cute. Look at these doggies. Aren't they just adorable? I'm not a huge dog fan, but little puppies thought they were cute. Um, I picked up two of them. You know, I have friends that like dogs, and uh, I could always, you know, make some cards or something with these. Thought they were really cute. They're pop-up stickers, and you get 12 pieces. There's actually five things with pictures of dogs. The rest are other little doodads on there. But they, I thought they were so cute. So I grabbed two of those. I can see that the light is reflecting just as bad here as it does in the other room. So we'll have to figure out how to do that. I probably could close the curtains, but I'm already filming now. So that's not happening. I also picked up these hearts. These puffy hearts. Very cute. I'm trying to get this glare off. Very, very cute. These are, hmm, they're not by Jot. Mm, just says Greenbrier International. And I'm not going to keep, I, I can't stand when people say, this is a Greenbrier International product. Bah. Half of what, three quarters of what Dollar Tree sells is a Greenbrier product. So why keep saying it? Anyway, this is not by Jot. There's, there are 35 pieces. And I grabbed those. I also got the unicorns. Very cute. Somebody used uh, these on um, some friend mail that they sent me. Actually, you know what? Here we go. Here's another good reason for this paper. There you go. There's the unicorn stickers. Let me show you the heart ones again. And there's the heart ones again. Sorry. I don't know if that's much better, but... Very, very cute. Um, I also picked up these paper clips with the little tassels on them. I'll take it out of the package. Aren't they adorable? They got these little puffy things on them. So cute. You could use these for pocket letters or, you know, crafting of some sort. And the they're gold. And you get two of each color. And it's eight total. So I grabbed those. And again, I, did I say they were by Jot? They are. <clears throat> also, I picked up um, some wired jute cord for crafting. This is, uh, you know, jute cord with wire in it. Basically what it says. It is what it says. So this will be good for crafting. There is uh, seven and a half feet, and that's by Floral Garden. Got that. Um, I also found the decorative nautical rope. This is uh, the thinner one. The last time I got the thicker one, this one is, whoops, uh, 4.4 inches in diameter and it's 11.1 .1 feet. So you get more footage, but less, you know, less width. So I picked up two of those because I had already gotten the heavier ones and I thought these would be good for crafting as well. So I got two of those. Um, I picked, I finally found the um, popcorn squishy pencil. Love these squishy pencil pens. Pens, not pencils. It's red and it's got the little cap on the bottom and these are by Jot. Love them all. I didn't. I apparently had them all but the popcorn one. And Caroline was the one that said, Grandma, you don't have the popcorn. I was like, what? You're right. I don't have the popcorn. 
So I picked up the popcorn one, and that's one of the cutest ones that there are. So I grabbed that. Um, I found a couple of new magnets. I'm going to take this out of the package because I can tell right away it's going to be very reflective. And I just thought it was so, so cute. I'm going to put that on my refrigerator. It says Amazing Grace. Loved the colors in it. And Caroline's middle name is Grace. So I just had to get it. And I love that song, Amazing Grace. Uh, yes, I do. And it's like that. And it's it's um, ceramic. It's got the big um, magnet on the back. I got that one. And then I got this one, which I thought was really pretty too. And I know that I am this blessed. But that was really, really pretty. And it, again, it's the one of the ceramic ones with the big back on the top. Um, I will show you the package just so you can know what to look for. Just looks like that. Hanging on a clip strip. I believe I found these near the um, frames and stuff, but I've also seen them hanging in my store by the plastic wear. You have to look all over for clip strips because they hang them all over the place. So you never know what you're going to find where. Um, also in the frame department, I found these little clip um, photo frames. They hold a two by three photo, which is very small, but I thought it was really cute. It's like a wood look. Let's see if I can open this real quick. Probably not. Uh, I don't have anything to rip it with. There we go. Here we go. It's opening a little easier than I thought it would be. But I just thought it was really cute. I really am into this farmhouse look. This is what it looks like. It's got the little easel back. And how cute is that? I mean, how stinking cute is that? Like I said, it holds a two by three photo. Or you could use it for crafting. And I also found this one which I really liked, again, with the easel back. Holds a two by three photo. Um, I also found uh, this little number, which I don't know if this has been around or not, but it's like a green wood look frame. Let me see if I can open this one too, because the reflection is so bad. And excuse my singing, apparently someone made a nasty comment they didn't like when I sang but you know what tough beans really pretty again holds a two by three photo has the easel back and I just thought the green was so pretty so I grabbed that oh, my leg is starting to go numb already um also in the frame and decor section I picked up this sparkle every day and it's got like glitter in it and you can just shake it up and have the glitter go all over see what happens and then you just pat it down and you can see it better there are this is like this thick there are like three or four of these different sayings i liked this one sparkle every day and it's just a stand-up thing. There's no um, easel on the back. But I really liked that. Sorry. There we go. There's a little better look. Got that. Oh, also in the crafting section, I picked up two little bottles of Mod Podge. I thought I had some. I was looking all over for it. Couldn't find it. This is a two-ounce um bottle i've never not mod podged anything but people have sent me some really cool stuff my sister made me that love sign with the flamingos on it and uh i also got that folgers coffee can with the flamingos mod podged on it and i was like you know what i could probably do that so i picked up a couple of little bottles and uh i'm gonna maybe try to do some mod podging if i can you know find two minutes to do it um I also picked up this, hmm, what do you call it? Dish. Now, when I first saw these in my store, they had them in 
with the glassware. And uh, I went up to the manager and I was like, um, this is not a glass. Can you imagine trying to drink out of this as a glass? It's oval. And it's just, you could put rocks down in here or sand and have flowers coming out. There's like a whole multitude of things you could do. I only grabbed one because I thought I would try to do something with that. You could put your makeup brushes in here. You could put your lip glosses in there. You could do a million things with this. And I'm sorry, but I didn't bring my measuring tape with me. So you'll have to excuse me for not being able to measure this for you. Um, but it's, you know, it's not huge, but I really like it a lot. So grab that. Uh, what else? Oh, I grabbed uh, some more cards. Thought these were really pretty. Love the design on that. You only get six cards. I don't usually buy the ones that you only get six cards in because you can get eight for the same price of other ones. But these ones that have metallic on them only come in a package of six. But I really liked it, so I grabbed it. I said, why not? Splurge, Kath. Get the six pack. Why not? Um, Let me see. Oh, sorry. I picked up two of these little um, crafting containers to have here for the kids. I just thought that these are new colors. They usually have the primary colors. They have red, blue, yellow, green, I think. But they have this lime green and they have this like muted pink. Uh, I forget what color this is. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But I thought those were really cute for the kids when they're here and we're doing crafts. Um, I found some uh, fall foliage. Um, I swore I wasn't going to buy any because I have more fall flowers and whatnot from previous hauls, um, the previous falls. Fall is like my favorite thing to buy things for because I just love the colors in it. Um, but I picked up these little, what are they calling them? Mini pomegranates. So, so cute. I love the colors in them. I love those fall colors. I picked up, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I picked up two of those. And then I picked up one of the, uh, another color of the mini pomegranates. So I got those and then I picked up three of these in different colors. These are called willows. You got the yellow, you got the deep purple, and then you got the like magenta color. And uh, I just thought they were beautiful. Couldn't resist them. I know I said no fall flowers for Kathy this year, but I couldn't resist. Had to get them. So they are out. If you need fall flowers or fall decorations, you better get to Dollar Tree soon because they're going to be gone before you know it. Another month they're going to have Christmas stuff out if they haven't already. Picked up another one of these um, little buckets. Um, it's in black. Uh, Thrifty Tiffany had suggested um, using this as a little um, like gift for a man. You could put, um, you know... Um, the men's wipes in here, the Dove things in here, all men's uh, health and beauty aids in here and make it a cute little basket. So I grabbed that. Um, yeah, speaking of which, she was saying the health and beauty aids. What did I do with those? Hang on. Uh, I picked up these camo toothbrushes. I saw, I forget who hauled these. It's a two pack of camouflage toothbrushes. Thought they were so stinking cute. Apparently there's pink ones too, which I really want for me, which I can't find. Um, but I got these for Jordan because he's, uh, you know, a woodsy guy and woodsy guy, woodsy kid. You know, he, he's, he does a lot of uh, outdoor activity and that kind of thing. He's a farm boy, not farm boy, but country kid. And uh, so I got these for him. Uh, what else? Oh, I got some, uh, picked up a pack of these Essie legwear 
women's, this is SE brand, name brand. Um, they are microfiber, non-slip gel tab, aloe infused little footy things that you wear when you're wearing uh, shoes and you want to be um, sockless. You only get one pair, but they're brand name, and I picked those up. I also picked up these socks in the women's. Uh, these are size 10 to 13, which are awesome because I wear a size 10. Not that the 5 to 9 don't fit me. They do fit me, but these would give me, um, you know, a little more room, and I liked the dark colors. Uh, for some reason, I'm on this black sock kick lately. Um, Dollar Tree has these black socks with stripes on them, and I've been wearing them lately. Um, so I picked these up. Women's size 10 to 13, if you're looking for them. Us women with big old hooves. Got those. And then I found these for Miss Caroline. These are uh, size 7, 8. Look at these cute little flip-flops. I also got her the ones in purple. And she wore them on her um, preschool graduation day. And they perfectly matched this purple dress she had on that had um, purple with white polka dot trim on it. And uh, so I had bought her the pink and the purple. And I let her wear the purple ones home one day. And so I got her the pink ones as well. So cute. These probably aren't going to be around much longer if they're still around at all. But I just thought they were so stinking cute. So stinking cute. They got the little back on them, so they're not like a true flip-flop. Really cute. Love them. All right, showed you that, showed you that. Okay, I got some uh, toys, of course, always. I found another carton of the Lost Kitties for the kids. Just keep this in my toy bin for when the kids come over. I also found um, another... Maj Maj or however you whatever however you pronounce that Moj I don't know but these are little um, squishies inside I opened one I think for you guys previously but I got another one for the toy bin I picked these up for Jordan and Madeline because um, they live like 45 minutes from me so it's you know a trip anywhere they go is a trip. So I got them these travel bingo games. They're wipe off. So I'll get them some, you know, what, um, what do you call them? Erasable markers or whatever you call them. And they can play bingo together. And they got vehicles. You got um, license plates. So when they're riding in the car, when they go on vacation, or they're just, you know, coming down to see me, road signs, it'll keep them busy instead of being on electronics. This is so much fun. I wish, you know, I was still a kid. I would love to play this stuff. I'm always the driver. So if I wasn't the driver, I'd buy it and, you know, play with whoever I'm riding with. But I got these for the kids. I thought they were really cool. It says three plus, but it says works with wipe, wipe off markers. So I got those for Jordan and Madeline. Um, I also found this uh, Little Big Bites um, blind box. It's a plas hard plastic thing. I don't know what's inside of them. Um, I got it for Jordan. Um, I don't want to open it because, you know, it's for him. And uh, I just picked that up. Series 2. I found some more tie boxes. I got uh, two of the Series 2. I had more of these, but Caroline found them in the bag. I got uh, two blue of the Series 3, one purple, and one orange. So I got four more of the tie boxes. If anybody's still looking for those, we already have the complete set, so... Anybody who's looking for those, if you want to give me a shout, I can, uh, you know, try to get them out to you while those flowers made a mess here on the floor. Um, I also picked up two more of these color and stick books by Crayola. It's Nella. I never heard of her. The Princess Knight. 
but it's really cute. And uh, if any of you are interested in this, let me know. I can. I have two of them, so the first two people that ask me would get to uh, get them, or I may just put them in a giveaway. Haven't decided. Um, I also found some kids' books. I found Little Mouse Finds a Friend. Thought this would be great for reading to Caroline um, when she sleeps over at Grandma's. We always have a story before bed. So I got Little Mouse Finds a Friend. I got Little Bear Won't Sleep. Not going to flip all of them for you, but they're, you know... They don't have a lot of words, so they're good for just before bed. Um, pig's egg. They're really cute. And then I got Dazzle Duckling. Very cute. And they are, let's see, written by different authors. All three of them. No, oh, no, these two. These two are by Gabby Goldsack. These two. This one is by Catherine Sully. And this one is by Christine Swift. Uh, does it say what they sold for? No, but they're a great book for a dollar. And you can write who the book belongs to on the front. Those are great little buy. And then I found this book here, The Healthy You Diet. It says, uh, the 14 day plan for weight loss with 100 delicious recipes for clean eating. And this is by Donna Stone. And this book, let me see if I can get this off. Retailed for $27.50. Twenty-seven fifty, and I got it for a dollar. I thought it was really nice. I had some good. I want to do better with my eating. Great pictures, recipes. Very nice, and I would love to lose some weight. Don't we all? Fourteen-day plan. I'll have to read it up. See what it says. Get this whole sticker off, which is not good. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Stickers off. See? It's sold for $27.50. So I'm always looking in the book section. There's always, not always, but a lot of times I find a lot of good cookbooks or healthy alternative books. I like to find books for the kids. Um, like the, that Manhattan book, that was really cool. $50 book for a dollar. Um, I also got the Jeopardy card game and the Wheel of Fortune card game. My friends and I like to um, play games when we get together, um, have a few drinks. It's always a lot of fun trying to play uh, memory games after you've had a few. Uh, this one... Has 54 cards, and this one has 44 picture cards. 10 wheel cards and instructions. So I'm not as big a fan of Wheel of Fortune as I am of Jeopardy. I love Jeopardy. Um, but I got these for girls' night. Uh, I think that's everything over here. Yep. Um, I picked up the marble sippy cup it's got a gray top as you can see got the straw that doesn't come out i love these sippy cups they're really good so i got the one the marble one to match all the um plates and bowls and whatever that i that i got um wrapping up with some food stuff oh here's some more toys hold on i didn't realize these were over here found a couple more of these bubblies. I got this one. I don't know if you guys can't really see that too good. It's like a little, I don't know what it is, what kind of animal it is, but it's green. It's got a little ball on it. There we go, maybe. Got that one. I got these for uh, Toys for Tots for Christmas. I got this one. Looks like a little flower. 
And they got little orbs in them. And I got um, this one, which is the same as the other one, only it's like a pink. But these are go for like eight bucks, I think somebody said at, you know, Walmart. So great deal for a dollar. And I can donate them to, you know, underprivileged kids, kids who don't have anything. And uh, it didn't cost me a lot of money to do it. Sorry, I'm sweeping up all this crap that came out of those flowers. Um, last couple things I have are um, food and boring stuff. Let me just move you a little closer so I can sit back here. Um, I picked up some more of the herb and garlic. This is by uh, Supreme Tradition. It's 12.25 ounces. This is great for marinating um, chicken, pork chops, steak. I love it. Great marinade for a buck. And this is good until October 16th of 2021. So you got plenty of shelf life on that. Um, I picked up two bottles of the Wishbone Italian dressing. This is great for um, pasta salad. Um, it's also a great marinade for chicken. Um, and this is a eight ounce bottle, it's a little smaller, but it's Wishbone, brand name. Just give it a little shake there. You can see how it's separating. Which just give it a little shake, all mixed up. Use it for your pasta salad or your marinating. Grab those, Wishbone, brand name, again, from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed these. I thought I was gonna give them a try, see what they are. They are plant-based protein pretzels in the sea salt flavor. And they are by Dream Pretzels. Red lentil, white bean, and wheat pretzel twists. They have five grams of protein per serving and three grams of fiber per serving. I don't normally do this taste testing because I hate opening these things up and then I got 92 bags of open things. This is what they look like. They're supposed to be sea salt. I don't see a whole lot of salt on them. I like a good salty pretzel. Eh. They're all right. I think they'd be better in like a dip or something. I bet they'd be good, you know, dipped in, in hummus or something. Kind of plain. Not enough salt for me. They're baked. See right there? That's probably why they're so plain tasting. But I bet they'd be good, you know, in a dip of some sort. I don't love them, but they could be made to taste better by doctoring them up, I think, a little bit with some kind of dip. Got this uh, headband by Scrunchy. Scunchy. Thought this would be nice for Christmas time. Scunchy brand. I got um, some more of the clear eyes. These are great to have on hand when you need a quick eye wash or your eye is irritated. It is a 0.2 ounce bottle. But when you're putting stuff in your eye, you usually only use a drop at a time, so it will last a while. Got that. Grabbed another one of the Liquid Skin. I love these. They work great. Instead of putting a Band-Aid on, you just put this Liquid Skin on you. Seals up your cut. like to have that on hand. This is a 0.5 gram bottle. Recommend that. Um, speaking of cuts, I picked up four more of these knives. I got two red and two purple. Let me tell you guys something. These are some sharp ass knives. Sharp, sharp, sharp knives, not knives, knives. Um, they have this um, guard on them and they're sealed with a, with a zip tie so that people don't open them. They are sharp as attack, man. I The first time I used one, I cut my hand with it. It was only a little nick. I didn't need my liquid skin, but they are super, super sharp. If They are by Cooking Concepts, 
if you see them in your Dollar Tree, which they are in the um, cooking section, obviously, where all the uh, utensils and stuff are. But I found them in the little baskets where they have all those mini um, rubberized uh, utensils in the different colors. The knives are hard to find. So I grabbed four more of them, two red and two purple. Um, I probably am going to give away the purple ones. My kitchen is red and uh, I just grabbed them so that, you know, I could share the, share the love. So I'll keep the red ones for myself. Purple ones I shall give away. I gave one to my um, friend, my best friend, Connie, and uh, she was also amazed at how sharp they are. Wow, that stuff got all over. Um, I picked up two packages of the antibacterial travel wipes. Supposed to be going to Florida in September. Um, it looks unlikely now, but I'm hoping things get better real quick. You get 30 total wipes, two travel packs. These are great for traveling or just, you know, to keep in your car when you're shopping. I mean, you go into the store, you wipe down the cart. Even though they say they wipe them, I like to have my own wipes to wipe down the carts because you don't know. You really don't these days. You just got to be super extra careful. Um, I finally found these travel bottles. Two-pack. Look at how cute these are in the little pink polka dot. It's got the spritzer bottle, and then it's got the one with the flip top that you can squeeze out. I just thought they were super cute, and uh, I can use these for traveling. Just love the purple polka dots, uh, pink polka dots. I, they come in purple as well, is what I meant to say. Uh, 36 minutes, not too shabby. Picked up a pack of these nitrile, nitrile exam gloves. I like these to have when, you know, you need them. It's um, a 10... 10 gloves, so you get five pair. I picked up two packs of the Kodak size C batteries. I have AA, I have AAA, I think I have D. It's very hard to find C batteries in the Dollar Tree for some reason. C batteries and nine volts. Nine volts we almost never carry in my store, and when they do, they go like that. So if you see 9-volt batteries in the Dollar Tree, snap those babies up. But these are Kodak brand batteries, C batteries. I got two packs, and they have a three-year guarantee. And it says they're supposed to be good till July of 2021, if you can see that on the bottom. So I guess you have to start using them by then, and then you get three years. I hope. I don't know. Not a battery. Uh, aficionado. I picked up a pack of these fudge brownie M&Ms. I told you guys before, these are the bomb. They're so good. They got like brownie flavor in them. Um, I haven't seen them around lately. Um, this is the last bag I have of these and I can't wait to devour those tonight when I get out of work. I picked up these Lifesaver Hard Candy Spring Mix just to have you know, when you, when you need a, something to keep you from coughing or, you know, just a little nice treat, Lifesavers Spring Mix. It's um, raspberry, pineapple, and watermelon, which are like my three favorite flavors, fruity flavors. So it's a 3.2 ounce bag. Grab those, which I don't usually buy, so... I found these Jack's Link, Jack Link's um, White Meat Chicken Tender Bites in the original flavor. I thought they were interesting because they're chicken bites. I haven't tried them yet. Um, they have 10 grams of protein, 80 calories per package. I imagine you can probably eat the whole package. I doubt this is more than one serving. Let's see what it says on the back. Does it say? Uh, one serving. Yes. Yeah, so you can eat this entire package if you wish. So I got that. And it's a, it tells you all these uh, good things about it. It's a smart snack. So I can't wait to try these. 
Picked up two bubble mailers by Jot. These are the six by nine size. Every time I see bubble mailers, especially in this size, I grab them because these go quick. Um, you can almost always find the big white bubble mailers. Um, you know, not the ones with the paper on the outside. You can almost always find those in Dollar Tree, but it's a little harder to find the bubble mailers with the paper, you know, outside. Let's grab those. Picked up a 10-pack of plates. These are 10-pack, right? Yeah. These are the Ultra plates. Just when you're, you need a paper plate with a little more sturdiness to it, I grab those. And that is everything, I think, in my Dollar Tree haul. Yes, ma'am. That is it. I'm going to take a sip of Diet Pepsi, which is my favorite drink. Because I'm a little parched with all that talking and i want to open this package from jamie grady from las vegas nevada thank you so much jamie and again i'm so so sorry that this did not get opened sooner i want to oh my gosh everything is all wrapped my goodness oh there's some stuff for caroline here Oh, look at the card. Look at how nice she decorated the card. Isn't that adorable? Absolutely adorable. And of course, I don't have my, my, uh, what do you call it? Letter opener available. So I'm going to have to just rip this top, which I don't want to do because it's so pretty. So, oh, there we go. It's opening up. Opening up, she sent this card, which I really like. Did you get this in the Dollar Tree? I've never seen this before. And it says, Aloha, Kathy. This is my first friend mail. Oh, oh my gosh. This is your first friend mail and I didn't open it till now. Boy, now I really feel like a heel. I'm sending out to my favorite Dollar Tree Hall host. I know you love flamingos, and I just had to get these items for you. There is also things for Caroline, your friend, Jamie. P.S. E her gave me her email. Hope you are doing well and staying safe. Sorry if you can't really understand my writing. You do have some um, very interesting writing, but I'm pretty good at deciphering writing. It might take me a minute, but yeah. I worked uh, at the Board of Elections, which um, was a lot of voter registrations. And I learned over the years to decipher people's handwriting pretty well. Um, even my boss, where I work now at the Dollar Tree, has some challenging handwriting if you're watching jasmine i don't know if you watch my channel but yeah we we we've laughed about that but thank you so much jamie i feel awful that it's been you know sitting here for so long and this is your first friend mail terrible 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 all right well this one is for caroline and i'm not going to open these because i want you to see her face when she opens them and this one is for caroline i said to caroline I think I'm going to have to put your name on my channel because you're getting more friend mail than I am. Let's see. This one's for me. This one's for me. That one's for me. Here's another one for Caroline. Oh, she's going to be so excited. She loves, she loves her prizes, especially stuff that's wrapped. All right, let's start with this one. Thank you so, so much, Jamie. So much wrapping everything up so lovely i have a hard enough time getting stuff out let alone trying to wrap it so if i send you friend mail and it's not wrapped please excuse me i didn't mean it i try to be try to be good oh it's a flamingo cosmetic case i have the one with the other flamingo with two flamingos on it but i don't have this one Thank you so much. I love it. I can, can never have enough flamingo stuff. And she sent me the flamingo towel. 
This is not the one that says stand tall. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, love it. I love flamingo stuff. Thank you. Everybody who's found all these flamingo things for me. Thank you, thank you. I love it. Let's see what else we have here. Oh boy, I love opening I can see where Caroline gets the love of opening presents because I love it too. Let's open this one. This one's for me. This one's for me. Ooh, and it's the other flamingo one. It's the other flamingo cosmetic case. And there's goodies. There are goodies. Oh, love the luggage tag. Oh, I'm going to use this on my my uh, luggage when I go to Florida. Love it. I have not seen this one. I would have snapped it up if I had. I love the yellow background. I love the yellow and the pink together. Love it. And a flamingo lanyard. You know, I, I want to see how long this is because they gave us... Uh, new t-shirts to wear at work instead of the collared shirts that we were required to wear before it says dollar tree essential worker on it and it's a it's a t-shirt and uh there's no place to clip my name tag on so let me see how long this is for those of you that are still around um i know you're watching because you like friend mail so i hope you don't mind that i'm just taking the time to open this up Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I could put my name tag on this. Yeah, baby. I have to figure out how to shorten it because it's way down here by my belly. But, yeah, definitely going to use this. Thank you, Jamie. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's keep that out for tonight. And I'm going to use this when I, when I travel. When I travel, baby. I've been trying to go to Florida since May. Yeah. Well, I've had it planned since like March. Um, been trying to get there since May. Got this other one for me. For me, for me, for me. Ooh, more flamingo stuff. You guys are so generous. Thank you so much, Jamie. I, I'm floored by the generosity of everybody. Love this notebook. Stand tall. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm always looking for a new notebook. Thank you so much, Jamie. Um, and she sent... This great keychain. He's so soft. Oh my god. His little his little little glitter feet. I love him. Thank you so much. So much. I have a thing for soft things. So cute. I love it, Jamie. Thank you so much. And this has a flamingo sticker on it, which I'm gonna steal. I'm going to take that off and keep that. So cute. So cute, cute, cute. His little leg got bent, but that's okay. That's okay. Any cute? Oops. Very cute. Thanks, Jamie. I'm going to keep that too. Hmm. This looks interesting. Interesting shape. Interesting shape. Ooh, it's a sign. I saw the sign. Island time. Love it. I've never gotten this one. This will be great for my flamingo party. Thank you so much. I love that. I've seen flip-flop ones, but I don't know that I saw the ones with the um, flamingos on it. Very cute. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, thank you. And then she sent me the paper straws with the flamingos on them. I'm always drinking stuff with straws. I don't like to drink out of a bottle like I just did. Uh, for some reason, I have trouble with that. I like to drink out of a cup with ice and a straw. That's my that's my way to do it. And then she sent me this. Oh my God, so super generous of you. Thank you so much, Jamie. And Caroline is gonna be thrilled when I show her she's got packages. This is a canvas, which she wrapped up really nice in um, probably Dollar Tree bubble wrap. I would have gotten it there if it was up to me. All right, guys, I don't think I'm going to get to the mail. Um, but she sent me Donut Worry. Be happy. Love it. Love, love, love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate your thoughtfulness and all the wonderful things you sent me. Um, you guys, I am going to wait to open my um, mail until my next video. Um, so I will let you know that. And then I also have my list of the people who are entered in the giveaway. I'm going to save that for my next video because I got plenty more to haul. You guys stay safe. Happy hump day. And I uh, hope you make it through the rest of the week on a great note. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.